Big cheers. That's got to feel good going into the first match of the day. So just tell me what it's like actually to have the support, the kind of support that Dignitas as an organization has. Uh, it's really uh, overwhelming at times because honestly, like, to, to say that I deserve like this kind of fame or I deserve fame, like this level of fame compared to other professions, other people is like, I wouldn't say that, but it's really, uh, I, I, I'm grateful for everyone who shows support to not only me, but also our organization and my team. Absolutely. Now to talk more specifically about this match, Dignitas, you guys are the first team now to stack up against this CLG sub roster. So talk to me a little bit about how you prepare, if at all, and, and the steps you guys took to get to this match. This is actually probably the hardest draft we've had to do this year because it's literally like, well, half these players, we're not even sure what they want to want to play so i'm probably sh i'm pretty sure they're gonna go into this game like pretty solo queue -ish style i feel like our our job is just to control variables in the draft phase and uh go into the game uh and just beat them with being a stronger team like i think the only way we lose this game is if we get dragged into the mud and gets really really chaotic team fights or or small skirmishes so we're just hoping to, to take this one really clean really quickly and move on to the next game so interestingly enough, you could end up playing CLG in the playoffs after playing against their sub roster. So how does that make you feel? Is that a disadvantage having to play against a different set of, of guys, not getting to scout out CLG as much as you would have liked to going into the playoffs? I don't really think so. Uh, going into this week, we were willing to scrim against every single team in LCS, mainly because we feel like there's such a big gap between now, this super week and playoffs, which is at least three weeks, if not four weeks, that any kind of knowledge you can get right now will only be pretty rudimentary. Like at best, you get like some kind of grasp on their team and how they play, but nothing that really sticks with you for three weeks. Like in three weeks, everything could change. All right, and the final question is that you have clinched a spot in the playoffs, so there is at least that much, but talk to me a little bit about the importance of positioning, uh, matchup, side choice, things like that going into these big best of five series. Um, it, it's definitely really, really important to get a, a side advantage if you're, let's say, four or five. Like, although the four and five, fifth spots are pretty whatever, they're, they're pretty interchangeable in my opinion. The third spot's really, really nice. Like, I think we may have lost our chance to cinch first or second here, but if we 4 all the week, we could still get third. And third means we play against the sixth place team, which is, I think, most likely Curse. Uh, and we'd really, like to, we'd really like to play against, like, uh, them over CLG, because CLG has traditionally given us a lot more problems. All right, well, this is the game you got to start doing it in, so best of luck to you throughout the entire weekend. And we're going to send it right back up to the guys